In this example, we're going to simplify the square root of negative 18 raised to the power of 3. So let's go ahead and first simplify this square root of negative 18. So my 18 over here, I can reduce this radical, I can take a 2 out first, and then 9 is just 3 times 3. So I can rewrite this now as, since we have a negative underneath, the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 2 times 3 times 3, and all that's cubed. So here, of course, we have a pair of 3's that will come out, and then this square root of negative 1 becomes an i. So let's go ahead and rewrite what we have inside here. So the 3 came out front, the square root of 2 is left behind, and then we have the i that comes last, and then that's being cubed. Okay, so that cubed goes to all of these terms. So it's going to be 3 cubed times the square root of 2 cubed times i cubed. All right, well, 3 cubed is pretty easy. That's 27. And if we have the square root of 2 cubed, that's going to be the same as the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. And of course, radical 2 times radical 2 makes a real 2. So that's just going to be 2, radical 2, and then times i cubed, and i cubed we know is negative i. So this whole thing now becomes 27 times 2, which is 54, times the square root of 2, i, but then we have the negative out front because of the negative right here, and that was all being multiplied. So our initial expression of the square root of negative 18, and that being cubed, comes out to be negative 54 radical 2i.